So when it comes to money, if we just consume it in our here and now, how do we leave an inheritance to our children's children? We leave an inheritance of character, of godly understanding, of the way that we lived our lives, but also financially. So you take that back to 2 Corinthians 9, 8, as I said, Mm -hmm. and you realise all sufficiency in all things. That means I don't need to go to work so that I can buy a house. I have the sufficiency for this life already cemented. I go to work because I'm called to go to work and to extend my ability to build the next generation. And I would contend in God, money and me that in one generation, your grandchildren will not have to live the life you had to live directed by money. And people say, well, money's not my God. Yes, but it directs all of our holidays, directs Mm -hmm. where we live, directs how we live and the difference we can make in others. So it really caused me to go, I've got to get into God's word and find some real answer of how I can live a different way. A generous heart I had always had. We had always lived that part. So there were parts of the equation we had right. It's a, I'm a pastry cook, well, I was for four years, and you realise you need all of the ingredients yeah. to cause something to rise and to be uh, cooked and made that's really presentable and mm-hmm. people love to eat. If you cut the corner somewhere or you don't know, I don't have some of the ingredients in the cupboards, you pay the price later. Mm-hmm. I think that's the same when it comes to God, money and me. 